Hello everyone and welcome to Wargamer Online and we are back with a General's Handbook 2020 Age of Sigmar Battle Report. We have Seraphon versus Daughters of Cain. Wargamer Online, the hope of Wargamer. Before we get into everything, let's just start by a huge thank you to the community. We're going to be putting up some of the comments below. Great stuff. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribers is what keeps us alive. Yep. More than that, we have our wargameronline.com premium members who are helping us every day by funding us to do more and more. So if you're not already a premium member and want to check that out, go along to wargameronline.com. Links below. Right, Jack, that's the intro done. Yeah. What have we got? We got Daughters of Cain versus a crazy Seraphon list. Yeah, yeah, because I spent, it was actually quite a while ago now, and then 40k came out and we all got distracted, but um, we had like 40 odd Saurus warriors on square bases, and I spent, I don't even want to talk about how long, putting them all on, putting them all on round bases, doing the round bases up. Um, so we can do more of a Saurus focused army this time. So this time. is a sixty Saurus list. Yeah, there's a coalesce. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, okay. Uh, the mission is forcing the hand, which is one of the new uh, generals handbooks. Yeah, the other new one. We'll jump into the mission, but yeah, I don't know. This is going to be an interesting list. I don't have we yeah, played Seraphon um, versus Daughters no, of Cain? No, I don't think we have. And kind of the idea behind this was we we already know Daughters of Cain is a competitive army. Mm -hmm. You know, they're my tournament army. This was my tournament list, although the tournament list has actually shifted a bit um, yeah. from recent times. So we want to see how a Seraphon army could compete against a, a well-known good tournament list. Yeah, and arguably not an overly optimised Seraphon list. But, yeah, it, it's, it's one of the lists out there that people have been considering, you know, this big units of Soros with just churning out command abilities on them. Right, okay, I tell you what, let's jump into the armies and then we will have a look at the battle plan. Yep. For my 2,000 points of Coatl's Claw Seraphon, my leader is a Slan Star Master with the artifact Ixix Grubs and the spell Stella Tempest. Um, you know, while we're here, he's also accompanied by five Saurus Guard. And um, we have a Skink Star Priest just skulking around there as well, ready to do some Celestial Harmony. I also have the uh, Saurus Old Blood on Carnosaur. He's my general. He's got the command trait a Dominant Predator. And the artifact eviscerating blade, which uh, he snapped off. <laughs> Do you want to know what 40 Saurus warriors all clubbed up and ready to go looks like? That's what it looks like. I also have another 10 Saurus warriors on each flank. All of the Saurus and the uh, Saurus Old Blood on Carnosaur are part of the Sunclaw Temple Host Battalion. Yep. I have two units of three Ripidactyls out here on the flanks and in deep field. And not one, but two Stegodons. Mm -hmm. With the bows. With the bows, of course. of course. That makes up my... I, I come in at 1990, so all being well, I might get a... a, a, a Triumph. Triumph out of no. this. No. Oh, you're so sneaky. <laughs> so, for my 2,000 points, um, Daughters of Cain, I decided to change Temple to the Draichi Geneth. Um, I know it's wrong. I know Hagnar's better. But I thought, <laughs> why not? I'll give it a go. I've done, like, Hagnar for the past two. Um, but I think after this game, I'm going to realise how good Hagnar is. Leading it, I have Marathi. I did try to make a list without Marathi in it. Um, it felt a bit wrong, I felt a bit sick, and it turns out I can't even do 2,000 points without Marathi, because I do have 30 Sisters of Slaughter waiting to be painted. Um, but but I haven't, ready yet. Yeah, I haven't done them yet, so I can't <laughs> do 2,000 points without Marathi. And who would do 2,000 points without Marathi? But she does have the Mind Razor spell. Uh, the general today is the Blood Rock Shrine. Um, she gets to actually take a command trait today, so she's got Terrifying Beauty, and I've given her the Steed of Shadows spell. 
I have two Hag Queens today with their very sad 10 point increase. Um, but this one here, the one with the spear, has the artifact, the Blood Sigil, with Sacrament of Blood and Blessing of Cain, and the other one has um, just Catechism of Murder. I have a unit of 30 Witch Elves with dual knives, and then two units of 10 Blood Sisters, and of course, up in the sky, two units of five Canary Heartrenders. I got an extra command point as well, giving me 1980 points. I was oh. just below you. And I did roll for my triumph, and it was indomitable, which is um, re-roll re saves. Re-roll saves for attacks that target this unit until the end of the phase. And with a army in bikinis, that's really quite useless. Aww. <laughs> Uh, before we get into the battle plan, I just want to point out this is new our table. new table. New table. Um, you may have noticed, you may have already been commenting, but um, yeah, this was a whole bunch of work last weekend. <laughs> Entire family effort, even my wife yeah. got involved. Uh, uh, I was doing airbrushing tints, tones, and highlights. Yep. You were doing Golds. detailing with gold, yeah. and uh, mother was on the metals. The was silvers. on the silver metals. So between the three of us, we managed to nail all of this out. Very, it was Zand it had been based with Zandri yeah. Dust, but from basing with Zandri Dust to done about four hours. Yeah, um, and then we came back and just three D printed some rocks and stuff to fill out yeah. the gaps in between, basically. Um, but now we're really happy with this, and this will be our Haish table. Yes, I think. Because the idea is, what we're trying to do is expand the tables out to have one for each realm. So you'll recognise instantly as soon as you see the table what realm we're playing yep. in uh, as we go along. Because we have, so we already have the snow one, which is Gur, the trees, Gur. which is um, life, Gyran. Um, we're getting a lava mat. Which is going to be, be actually for fire. We've got the lava mat. I am oh, working. It, yeah. I am three D printing terrain for the lava, lava mat terrain. at the moment. Although we've got some of the old chaos dreadfort, Dread yeah. which is kind of going to go kind on. Kind of the war cry stuff as well, and some war cry bits yeah. for scattered terrain. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about yeah. that table. And then if you've watched our meeting engagements, you'll recognise the Shaiish. But we needed to Boards. order a new yeah, map for that. We only had a four mat. before mat, didn't and we? And then so. we've got all kind of like you know arcane. Towers yeah, and lots stuff of lots and of uh, the mausoleum scenery yeah, pieces. Lots of undeady kind of terrainy kind yeah. of death type stuff, which is pretty cool. And then that just leaves us with Shaman. Shaman, yeah. Which um, um, we, we haven't quite, quite sure. worked out yet. We're not quite sure. Maybe some carriage and overlordy, sky fleety stuff. Something, and then Uglu, which is probably yeah. going to be um, like. We've seen some really nice cave, cave terrain and yeah. stuff like that, which would go quite nice with the Gloom Spike Gits. So yes. we were kind of thinking, actually, do the Ooglu as kind of caves and stalactites mm. and those kind of things. But that's for future planning and uh, future time and future effort and future budget. But uh, needless to say, right now, I think we're up to... Well, once we've got the fire terrain printed, the actually terrain yeah. printed, we'll be up to th four, four. four tables. And then when we get the death mat... Five. five. So, yeah, so Quite a bit a of few. variety can, to the games. Yeah, a bit of variety. cycling through it. Okay, let's get into the mission. Yep. We are in the realm of Hish. Let's just cover this. Um, the, the magic is purity of defense. Um, it's casting value of five. Pick a friendly unit wholly within 12 inches of the caster invisible to them, and you can re-roll saves of one for attacks that target the unit until the start of the next hero phase. Um, we have the Realmscape feature, which is Dazzling Land. Basically, terrain features, including faction terrains, have the mystical scenery rule in addition to any other rule. Yes. Mystical is the six of Twignor damage. And now it, it should be mentioned as well, the, the Coalesced rule is going to come into effect here. Um, which is t scenery pieces wholly within your territory. The, I think it's the arcane, inspiring, and mystical only, only affect coalesced units. Yeah. Whereas the deadly and sinister only affect enemy units. Oh, man. So all the positives affect you and all the negatives only affect me, but that is only within your territory. Just realise as well, I've not finished painting the Realmscape engine. We've actually oh, yeah. got one and I haven't finished yeah. it. Oh, man, next time. <laughs> Along with the Dreadsaurian, I promise. <laughs> um, the uh, Realm Artifact essentially gives you reroll hits of one. Neither of us have bothered no. with that, but it's the something True Blade. And the Realm Command is all seeing an Enlightenment, which is basically uh, pick one friendly unit wholly within 12 inch of a hero, 
do not apply cover modifiers to save rolls for attacks made by that unit until the start of your next hero phase. It's not bad. No, it's not, yeah. It's not the end of the world. Could be something with the Steggies for me, but who knows. Yeah. The mission we are playing is Force the Hand, Forcing the Hand, rather. Um, six objectives, um, and you can see them highlighted at the moment. So we've got one over each of the cool terrain. We thought that was kind of cool and thematic. Four in the midfield, slightly out of position, but we'll come back to that. Um, essentially, the way this works is you have player B territory, player A territory, and um, the way it works is at the start of each player's turn, the opposing player picks one of their own objectives to be the primary uh, objective for that turn. So basically, I pick, one would argue, my most safest terrain yeah. objective. And on that basis, um, uh, I can defend it better. Because if you score my primary objective, it's worth three points. And if you score any of the other objectives, it's just one victory point. Okay? Yeah. Now, we can change, obviously, from turn to turn what the primary objective is, depending on how the battle lays out. We are going to mark up which one is the primary objective, as long as I forget to mess around with the overlays. In terms of the terrain, then, we have uh, Deadly. Yep. <laughs> Mystical. Yep. No, wait, sorry. Arcane. Okay. Arcane. Okay. Um, can't remember That's what that one five, came out. That came out mystical. Um, then I've got inspiring, 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 and inspiring. Yeah, it, it was weird. <laughs> we used the terrain dice and they just pumped out inspiring yeah. four times in a row, um, which is the way it goes sometimes. Also, these realm uh, terrain actually have their own set of yeah, rules. Yeah, and we will be using So we'll, we'll, we'll cover those as and when they come into play in the game. Yeah. Okay. In terms of secondary objectives, we both chose the same two objectives, uh, absolutely by coincidence. But yep. we've gone for Overwhelm, which is basically slay a hero with battle line. Yep. Seeing as though we had such big battle line, kind of figured that might happen. And Cornered, which is to put two units against an enemy hero. Um, let's give it a go. Who knows? Right, Jack, deployment. Um, what were you thinking? Well, what were you thinking? Yeah, um, I've got one unit of snakes all the way over here on their own, just to hold that objective. And then kind of everything else went over here. So the big block of 30 witches, of course, just with all the character support you could ask for. Um, and another unit of snakes out on the flank, because, you know, they can just hold the backfield objectives whilst the daughters just run forward and take everything else. Okay, yeah, for me, oof, you know, mobility through the uh, Ripodactyls, big unit as central as possible, to be honest. You know, it's a it's a long old slog to, oh, across to some of these objectives. Um, so, you know, that's going to take some time. I'm defending the two outer objectives with a unit of 10 for now, obviously reinforcements from various parts of the army. He needs to be close to the, the large um, Saurus unit. Yeah. I've also got the little skink guy close to the large Saurus unit as well because of the hero boons from him. Um, the slan is sat within this terrain, which, interestingly enough, that's where the rules start to kick in. Yeah. Because this temple is actually both, both arcane and, and deadly. deadly. But, of course, the deadly doesn't affect you and the arcane doesn't affect me. So you just get plus one to cast it. So plus one to cast. Like plus I mean, bear in mind I've got cast. arcane, arcane, and arcane. So yeah. I've got some movements around in terms of pluses to cast. But it's going to make me strong in the magic phase. And it's quite a big piece of terrain. Mm. So I can kind of, I know it sounds daft, but yeah. move around yeah, within can, that. Um, forward this stuff this. is going to have uh, quite an impact. This is an interesting piece of terrain, of course, because this isn't wholly within my territory yeah um but uh you know so it does affect both of us in bo both counts yeah but essentially this is the one where, old rule doesn't yeah, it, you, roll, you can try and unlock the storm bolt yeah if you've got a hero there you roll a d6 basically and on a six you then roll a d3 and you and gain, an artifact, you gain an artifact of some description yeah. you know it's one of those things if you've got time to camp a hero on it throughout the game yeah you might just pull something and it's off a it's a big old piece of terrain as well so yeah yeah Okay, I think that's it. Yep. Let's get into turn uh, one. Term one. Um, well, given the boon from the battalion, I think I was actually one unit more than you, but the battalion meant I could drop four units in one yep. go, um, which put me ahead. That gives me uh, the choice. 
Um, I don't think you have the mobility to alpha strike me this no. turn. Maraf is right at the back. I think I'm going to let you go first, which will cause a couple of things, really. You either have to make a tough decision about transforming her yeah. in this turn. Um, otherwise, she could get a smack from Comet's Call. Which could yes. really do some damage to you. So, um, you know. You and at to... least then you know she's not going to be casting spells from... And I know where she is as well. Because yeah. part of that transformation is that 15-inch leap forward. Although yeah. in theory... Well, no, because she can be yeah, placed there. she can there, be placed so. there, yeah. So you've not done the <coughs> sneaky bubble wrap no. which forces her to catapult forward. Yeah. Which is such a great move, by the way. If you've never done that. If yeah, you've never get, seen it Gain an extra five or six inches. Just do it. It's games smile. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to let you go first, mate. Okay, cool. All right. Into my turn one. There we go. Um, yeah, start of my hero phase. I'm going to transform Marathi straight away. Yeah. Just because I can't risk her taking some more wounds while she's in a little form. So really? she's going to pop. That's it. And then Big Marathi's going well, to appear. Words, Lola. Here we go. Here she is. Nice. And then she's going to go there. There. Yep. Um, then she's going to try and cast Mind Razor onto the Witch Elves. She does on a 9, but that's actually a 10 because of the inspiring... Um, so you get to try and stop that. You get plus two. <laughs> the dog just attacks you. Okay, there we go then. Um, um, so you need to roll a nine because you get plus two for being a slant and being on that terrain uh, feature. Five, six, seven, eight. So you no, know, she gets it off. So mind razor onto the witch elves. Then the chariot's going to cast steed of shadows. Um, I get it on an eight. You can try to stop that. Why not? And on a ten, that does you indeed do stop. stop. It. Um, I'm gonna witch brew the snakes. Ten plus two, and, of course. Yeah. yeah, and witch brew the witch elves. Oh, I can't stop that, can no, I? No, you can't stop them. I love those abilities. Then prayers. I'm gonna do blessing of Cain onto the witch elves. I fail and take D three mortal wounds. Oh no! One mortal oh, no. wound, which I ignore on a six. I don't ignore. So the hags taken one mortal wound. Okay. And then I'm gonna try and do sacrament of blood. Which I get, so they count the blood drives being one higher. And then Catechism of Murder is going to go on to the probably the witches as well. I don't get it. Okay. So we just need to do terrain rolls as well. Yeah. Um you're sat on deadly. Yeah, it's only if I move. I'm oh, deadly. of course it is, yeah. What else is going off? Anything else? I think that's it, that's isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, so you don't, don't have, have a hero. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's everything. And for the record, this is my primary objective as well, yeah. which I needed to select at the start of the turn, but we've just not mentioned it at this yeah. point. Also dropped up a little icon for you as well, wherever it is. You can see that it's highlighted in some way. Right, yeah, then. My movement phase. I'm going to start off with running the Witch Elves um, on a six. That's good. So that gives them a 12-inch move. I'm probably not going to use all of it because, yeah, I just want to get them up onto the objective just so they're holding it but not too far up that it gives you an easy charge but I know Seraphon aren't exactly the fastest. This Hag Queen hiding here is going to run as well. Three. That gives her a nine so she probably loses a couple of inches getting up. Two inch moving yeah. up the steps, yeah. So that gets her over to here. The chariot just moving up to there. These snakes are going to start to guard this objective more than anything. So you just need to roll a dice, of course, for the hag as she's piled onto the deadly terrain. Yes. And it's on, it's on a six a up. One, oh, is I it think. a one, is it? Oh, okay, is it yeah, deadly? One. Oh, it's on a six plus. It suffers one mortal wound. Oh, on a one plus. Right. On a one, so no, not even a plus. Yep. Yeah. We're good. And the other hag running four. That gets a... Mm, Gets her just over to here, like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Marathi's going to fly up. I know she can't gain cover, but mm -hmm. she looks cool. And the snake's over there running five. Probably not going to use all of that, but... Anything you want to do, or...? Just getting round. 
Thanks. Sure. Do you want to roll the dice for Marafi as well? Um, yeah, I suppose I should. On a, oh, on a one. No, she's good. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, snakes. They're all a bit finickety. There we go. And then I, I think, think we magnetise those things because I just properly <laughs> twinged it there, but that's all right. I think that's everything for my turn. Okay. I don't have any shooting, and I just gain my three objectives. Yeah. Okay. So that puts you on uh, five points, three for the primary. Yep. Going into my turn one, you need to select your primary objective. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one here. They're in cover, they're pretty survivable up there, and okay. there's nothing more than rippers I can get over to them. So. Excellent. Right, my command phase. First things first, then the slam 2d6 on a 4 up. I get an additional command point. I'm gaining 1 from the turn already. That's 2 so far. And on a 5 up from, from the skink. skink. No one. So that just gives me two command points. So you're up two. Three. Uh, yeah, three Gain one points from now. the battalion. Yep. Right, next up, let's pump out some magic and hero abilities. I'm going to choose Sage's Staff for my Asterism. Yep. Gives me plus one. So he's on plus three to on cast. On plus and... three to cast. Let's go for Comet's Call. Yeah. And on a five, plus three is an eight. It goes off. So it goes off. Oh, I'm not that. in range wow. to deny. Um, um, okay, so, so D3, D3 units. units. Yeah, one, one unit. D three mortal wounds. Who are you going to choose? Let's go for Marafi because you've start got to start chipping her down yeah. anyway. And at range is a, it's one mortal wound, but um, yeah. on a six, I don't ignore it, so I do take okay. mortal wounds. Next up, let's go for Mystic Shield. Yeah. <laughs> that goes off on uh, fourteen. Yeah, so it goes off. Um. Yeah, big unit Saurus. Yeah, I think so. Why not? Yeah, and then he does also have the realm spell. Yeah, which is basically is another, five, so. another mystic shield. So. Yeah, so and I, it was on a five and I'm on plus three. Yes, yeah, so it, it rolled particularly well there, but luckily the plus three is doing it. It's another mystic shield. Um, let's give that to the Carnosaur. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Yeah, the Carnosaur. Um, next up, the um, skink. skink. Yeah. Mm. His spell gives the immunity to battle shock. So. Yeah. Why not? And then we've also got that goes off on a, an eleven plus Which, three. So. No, it's only plus one. Oh, of course, because of the terrain. So it goes so off 12. on a twelve. Yeah, so it goes off. So who do you want to give that to? I um, think if you actually, I think if you cast it on a high number, you get to choose more units. You know what? Let me check. Well, that's a strange one, and um, because I <laughs> cast so high, you, you're right. It does have a better ability now. Yeah. Normally, it's holy one unit holy, holy within, within 18. eighteen. But the way the rule reads, we might just need to quickly stop recording and check the FAQ because right now it says units, all, all units, units within, within eight. eighteen, which is the entire army, but that unit of ten Saurus, Gar uh, Saurus warriors over there, yeah. immune to battle shot. So That's a hell of a spell. FAQ. We're going to check the FAQ just in case they added holy within. Uh, but for now, we'll move on. So Jax has checked the FAQ. It is indeed my yeah, entire army is immune there. to battle shot this turn, except for that one unit over there. Um, yep. I'm also going to use the Serpent Staff from the Skink Dude, and he's going to give this unit on six as he dishes out mortal wounds, basically, on a 40-man 40, yep. 40 unit. That seems quite a lot of attacks. Doable, doesn't it? Well, I'm never going to get them all in on the attacks. But yeah, but they're four attacks so, each with the drawn even clubs. So. Okay, I think at that... <laughs> I'm probably done for the hero phase. I was yep. thinking about command abilities, but yeah, we'll leave it for now. Okay. Okay. Right, going into my movement phase, let's run this um, Saurus unit here on a five. That's good. A ten inch move. Gives him a ten inch move. I am half tempted to spend a command point and push it to eleven. Um, because it's not. Brilliant. I mean, it's a great role, by the way. I'm not complaining. Yeah. I'm just sort well, of saying... you could do on a four up, you get the command point back. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's spend a command. It's, it's one inch, inch more. I oh, know, that's what I'm thinking. It's only an inch more. But an inch more is a few more bodies. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, we'll leave it as it is. We'll leave it as it is. Let's get these guys in position. Okay, that's that ridiculous block done. The Carnosaur is going to come around there. Um, he's got an 8-inch move, haven't they? Yeah. Okay. Let's take that one to there. But actually, before I do that one, I'm just going to move him through. Oh, yep. That Dias is in the way. Doesn't really matter. And there to there. That will do. I think these three rippers, got a 12 inch move, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Let's just run the rippers. Five. I'm just going to put three bodies extra onto this. Yep. Might mean nothing, might mean everything. Who knows? But let's just have that, just in case. And then I think, what's the move on this unit over here? Eight. Um, yeah, the snakes can move eight. But so they don't have room in the charge. Yeah, you would need a 12 inch charge. Mm. Okay, so no need to move those guys. Let's hold that as it is. The Slan and his guard, do they want to move up a bit? Yeah, Ski. maybe. I think so. I mean, it's... it's no risk. You don't have to. Ski is going to go forward. You don't have to roll for the deadly. I don't have to roll for the deadly, Gassan. So cool. Uh, these rippers, probably the last decision to make, really. Do I just pull back a little bit and hold here? Resource management. Yeah, just hang back a little bit with these throw guys. To die. They can wait. I mean, that was risky in its own right doing that. Um, because it's made me closer to a bunch of your other units. Um, but, like I say, maybe those three bodies will count. If I double you, then actually having those rippers far forward might be quite useful. I yep. think at that, I'm going to shoot. Here we go, then, the two stegs into that unit, hitting on threes. So this is just one of them. Two hits so far, wounding on threes. One wound. Six of armor, which I fail. Six ups to ignore. One and a half die. Yeah. Hitting on threes with a second one. Two hits. Winning on threes. Two wounds. Six of Palmas. Uh, both go through. And then six ups to ignore. Uh, four damage. So that kills another two. Okay. Okay, going into Battle Shock, I score three points like you, scoring three points. Um, I think, I'm not sure whether I correct myself actually, you didn't gain five points. Uh, no. The primary yeah. was in my zone, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so it's three points all, no Battle Shock required over there. Not only are you next to Inspiring, but you have Witch Brew on them anyway, yep. making them immune to Battle Shock. Uh, this feels like an important roll off. Mm. Should we leave it for a bit? No, that's not a coffee let's break. Here we go. Most important roll off the game, possibly. I got six. <laughs> so what's the plan, Jack? Um, I know it's a bit risky, but I think I'm going to let you take the turn again. I have to weather another shooting phase from the Stegodons, which I'm not happy about, and it allows the Rippers to maybe grab that objective point there, but, like... On... But you get to say what the primary is, so... Yeah, and, and again, I can choose it over there and keep that primary safe for another turn. I know you're not going to be able to get it. So if it's a lead, it's a one-point lead. And then if I take the turn, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. You're probably, like... I can move my stuff forward, but I'll probably fail all my charges. Then you get to do what you were going to do in your turn, mm. in my turn, and then have another chance for the double. So yeah. I might as well let you do what Sit back. you're going Possibly to do. Possibly gain an advantage, then... but maybe double me. Yeah, yeah exactly. So tricky yeah. call, tricky call, yeah. and a tricky mission. We're both we're both a little hesitant with this one. It's I'm, like... I'm feeling the Hagnar loss <laughs> because the six up to ignore instead of the five up ignore just makes the entire army so fragile so yeah. in scenarios where you have those two crossbows you're able to just decimate units with them yeah. because i don't have any way to stop that them. Unit, yeah so and if i can take three more off this turn 
I've only got four left to send three Ripodactyls against. They may or may not do something. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things. It would be a lucky shot to gain a point and I'm throwing Rippers away, but, but I'm kind of... Part of me is like, you know... I mean, the other thing is is I could actually send a Steggy in there, but... <laughs> Eight-inch charge. No, yeah. actually, that column's in the way. I'm going to um, have to walk can, around that. Walk what, bash those things. Yeah, out. they're only no, little tiny. They're just kind of a bit of We have to that. count that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, so I'm going to let you off the turn. Okay. Okay, right. Moving into my hero phase then. I've got a yeah. lot to do this turn. And I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve that I can attempt as well. So let's see what we can do here. I'm thinking if I can get a one point advantage at this point and secure what will be my primary objective for next turn. I'm going to ignore yours for now. Let's go for mini wins. State on stage. Oh, so. yeah, because I have to mention which one's going to be my primary, and I'm going to make it the same one as last turn. So the so. same one as last turn. I need to flag that up, but we'll do that after I've generated command points. Um, yep. I'm on, what are we at at the moment? You are three, on three to two command points, and the yep. score's three each. Um, okay, do I, on a five up, get one out of the skink? No, and on a four up from the slan, one command point. So, so that's yeah, two, two more command more points this turn. Five. Here we go then. Right, I'm going to use Sage's staff again. So that gives yep. me a total, given I'm on the terrain, that gives me a total of plus three to charge. Oh, I don't think, uh, sorry, plus three to cast. What am I saying? Um, no other terrain rules are in play Yep. right now because everything is just a plus to me. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's go for Comet's Call. Yep. And on an 8 with plus 3, that gives me an 11. You are so it goes out with my up, so D6 units. So that is D6 units this time. That's 4 units. I'm going to select Marathi. Yep. Um, I'm going to go for uh, this unit. Yep. Um, and the two hags. And the two hags, possibly. Yeah, I was going to go for the big unit, but hags are what's providing the power, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. okay, so D3 on Marathi. 3. 6 up. Uh, ignored one, so she takes two wins. Um, D3 on Hag on my left. Three. Uh, which one's that one? That one, yeah. Uh, six ups to ignore. Don't ignore any, so that one takes okay. two Okay, next Hag. Two. Six ups. Don't ignore any. Crikey. And then the unit of snakes. Two. And six ups. Ignored one. Okay. So that wounded one died. The snake. Wow. That hurt. Right, next up, let's go with Mystic Shield out of the slam. That's on a seven, so going off on a ten. Mm -hmm. um, you've got no deny. I'm going to give that to the um, uh, uh, the Ripodactyls. Okay. And then, um, again, the second spell, which is the spell from... From the realm. The realm. Side. So Divine. Trying to remember the name of it now. Purity of Defense. That's it. That's a four oh, plus off. three yeah. goes off on a five. I'm going to grant that. Oh, I better check the range on that. I may have just fluffed up on that one. So Purity of Defense is <laughs> wholly within 12 inch. I may have just fluffed up on the uh, order I've just done those in, but that's my bad. Oh, you can't do it. Give okay, it so Saurus. I'm just going to give it to the Saurus, okay? Yep. Um, right, next up, the Skink. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going for the Immunity to Battle Shock? I think so, I think so. That's an 8, um, and I, that becomes a 9, nine. so it's you still don't only get, one unit. Yeah, you don't get the super one. Um, in which case, um, Big Blockosaurus, yeah. for sure. Or, do you want to put it on the Ripidactyls? Because the Saurus are going to be at the back to spend command points for immunity to Battle Shock, aren't they? True. Whereas the Ripodactyls are out there. And they're only Bravery 5, so even if you yeah. just lose one of them. I need to check the range. Okay, so you're right. Within 18, let's go with the Ripodactyls, because I can just switch those off. And I'm sat on five command points at the moment, although I yep. am about to burn a couple. Okay. okay. Next up, Serpent Staff from the um, Skink Star Priest. That's mm -hmm. going to go again. Onto the the large block of um, Saurus, which leaves me with just the command ability. I think from the uh, Slan uh, gift from heavens. So yep. I'm going to grant the fly keyword to this Stegodon over here that's currently trapped 
behind terrain. That is a really powerful command ability. Oh, just to give something fly, yeah. Yeah, because now, now, I mean, yeah. it's an eight inch move on that. Yeah. Suddenly he's well With the monsters, we can just pass them over everything. Yeah, fantastic. So um, at that, I think I'll, the rest of my command abilities tend to kick off at different parts of the turn. So I think at that, I'll move into movement. Okay. Right, let's get into movement. First up, the Stegadon has got an 8-inch move, but he's also granted with the fly keyword, so that puts him to the there. Mm -hmm. Just goes straight across all of that terrain, which is fantastic. We've got the Ripodactyls with a 12-inch move, so that puts them 3 inches, right. well within 3 inches of being able to get into there. So yep. really wish we'd put one of these on the longer base. I think we might have to go back and sort that out one day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Saurus, oh, you know what? This uh, Bastilodon is just going to slow march forward to there. In fact, actually, he's going to keep that side. He too is trapped, by the way, <laughs> interestingly enough. So I might be burning a command point later. Oh, I've not notched my command points down. I'm down to four, but I'll do that at the end of movement. Um, the Saurus Guard, uh, Saurus Warriors, they're going to run. They've got a one inch. I'm not going to command reroll that. I don't need it. And I'm also going to kind of not really swamp too far forward on the objective. I don't. You know what? Actually, thinking about it, you are going to get a charge no matter what this. Turn. It's one of those. If you want to make them a six on a four up, you get the command point back. And I'm, I don't need it. No, do you I really? Need that. You know, this is a six inch move, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think I'm enough to, to, you know. Oh, then again, actually, these guys back here are dreadful. Go on then. I will spend it, which takes me down to three command points. But on a four up, uh, I gain it, and that's I have to spend the command point from here, yeah, yeah. don't I? From the general. So, there you go. so uh, that becomes a six. Free. So yeah. okay, then yeah, then you're right. I've got it for free. So I'm just going to properly bubble wrap. Um, that objective, and all I'm going to do is take the back one, which now has an 11 inch move. Is that right? Well, that puts the rearmost so yeah, well within there. So let's just move those guys off camera. These Saurus Warriors, I don't need the run, they are going to just kind of fan out here, yeah, a little bit, and I'm still gonna probably hang back with the Ripodactyls, but what I am going to do is to bring him right up to there. So if you do engage down that front, the possibility of you having to drag that dude into combat. Mm -hmm. I'm still highly conscious of your um, uh, your canary. canary. So you know what? It's going to be a little move forward. Yeah, I mean, we we were just discussing the fact that the slant is just unlimited on everything. He doesn't have range for any of his things, so it's just like you can keep him at the back safe. And I've got a heel, uh, yeah, exactly. exactly, because he's just limitless range on everything. It's not like you even need to get him up there to deny spells. You no, I just... was thinking really just henching forward just a little bit, because I do need the Holy Within 18 for fly. Yeah. Um, so I've moved it. him a little bit forward and I've got that because that will be the next Stegadon that needs that. I'm still, I think I now, now I've got this much going off, I think I can afford to come forward on this objective as well. I was hanging back just to make your charges that bit longer, but I'm just going to bubble out because again, I don't want those sneaky Canare coming in. Mm -hmm. And. Um, so these guys are properly just forming a defense wall at the top of these steps, which I think is pretty cool looking, to be honest. This terrain is great. Um, I'm really excited for our Akshi table as well. I'll post some stuff up on the community page because uh, I'm really excited for that as well. I think that's going to look really cool for combat. Um, cool for combat. Okay. Um, whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, you know what? Just a little bit. They don't need to be anywhere in particular. They're just going to hang a little bit further back here. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, at that, let's go into shooting. There we go, then. Let's fire up the Stegodons. I need to whittle that unit down. I'm going to go for a sneaky grab of one point. I know whatever I put there, Marafi's going to go over and devastate. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to use my triumph now. The reroll saves. Oh, <laughs> just oh. because, like any <laughs> six, I can get his negating three damage. So you promised just... me you'd forget that. Yeah, triumph. I know, and I did just forget. <laughs> and I was like, actually, whoa, I've got something here. Okay, so, so you're using the triumph. Indomitable. Uh, indomitable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's put a little reminder there. There you go. Really useful to have those cards. Um, here we go then. Hitting on threes, wounding on threes. This is the lead Stegadon going yep. for. Uh, two hits. Okay. And no wounds. Oh. Rear Stegadon. That's not the news I needed. Rear Stegadon. Three hits. Okay. And three wounds. So made up for okay. it on the averages there. Six of Palmer. <gasps> Re-rolling. Come on, look at that. Oh, okay, so oh, one okay. goes through. Three damage on sixes to ignore. Uh, no, no, no so one less model. One and a half die. Okay, one and a half. Oh, did all three go through? Sorry, I thought only two went through there. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Right. Got one less model. I can live with that. Um, I've got no other shots, so uh, that I think we'll go into charges. Yep. Here we go then, in the charge phase. Let's put the Stegard on him first, because he's the one that needs the space. Guess a six. Ugh. We're going to do a close measure here, folks. Yeah, you're in. I'm in, but it's yep. awkward. Half he does have fly at least, yeah. otherwise that would have been a problem. So he uh, just, you can so he just gets to there like that, yeah? Like that, yeah. Okay, and then we need a three inch charge, ideally more so I can wrap a little bit. And I get that with a six, so let's just take, yeah, as long as one of them allowing for pile in. Yep. Don't need to do much, do I? So as long as one of them does that. And you know what? I'm going to hang back a little bit. Okay. Okay, here we go. We got those in. Oh, by the way, for anybody screaming, um, you forgot to fire the javelins. I did actually do it, but I forgot to record it. We've just realised. So yeah, um, it did nothing. Yeah. So fives and fours, I, and I didn't get anything through. No. So just before we move into combat, D three mortal wounds. Oh, if I up. roll a three up, and it is a three up, so D three mortal wounds. That's three mortal wounds on that unit. Sixes. Or, uh, two going through, so one dies, one dies. Wowzers. Okay, so the Stegadon now going into its attacks. Here we go then. The Stegadon gets really, really angry. Uh, 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 for completeness sake, of course, he's pointing his armoured crest at you, but yes. it kicks in, doesn't it? Um, you are, yes, less than five. Okay, so, oh wait, can I? Yes, you can. Yeah, it's you can. units less than less five, than isn't five, it? Yeah. Here we go then with the massive horns. This is two attacks hitting on threes. One hit, wounding on threes, three, uh, so minus one rend. Six up. Uh, it goes through. Crikey, that's four damage then with the horns. Six ups. Um, that's four wounds. Oh, five attacks with the crushing stomps, hitting on threes, three going through, wounding on threes, uh, two going through at minus one rend, doing two damage. Six up. Oh. And six ups. Hey, saved all of them. Nice. And then three attacks with the grinding jaws, hitting on threes. Two going through. I, one extra attack, of course, yep. because of coalesced. And then wounding on threes. Oh, double wand it. Ooh. Okay. 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 Um, your activation. Do you want to just activate straight away? Yeah. So they'll pile in round like hey round. hey hey where are you going yeah, i don't think it really matters that <laughs> no, much. i've got the um, point but you know so the spears hit on threes uh, oh, and wound on threes re-rolling Uh, that's five saves at minus one rend on the second on, so five four ups. Five four ups, but I do have Mystic Shield on this yes. one. Five uh, five ups then? Yep. No, four that's ups. That's four ups armor. because of the armour. Um, so three going through, one of them are one, so I'll re-roll with Mystic Shield. Uh, it saves, so two going okay. through. And then four ups to do more alls. Oh, no, nothing. Two ones. Two wounds. Okay, so due to a combination of me forgetting to pop the Toad Rage... 
uh, at the start of combat. I thought it was when I activated them, so my bad. Um, but I do get an extra attack with the jaw. So there's only two of them in because of your cunning piling actions oh, yeah. around the back of the Stegodon. Um, but I am hitting on fours. Oh my god, reroll wounds would have been uh, rerolls to hit would have been nice. Hit, hitting on four, wounding on threes. But eight. sixes do an additional attack on the jaws. Sixes do additional attack on the jaws. So let's go with this. Eight attacks. No sixes. I do need fours, so only four going through. Lovely and average, except for the lack of sixes. And then threes to wound. Uh, two wounds out of that. It's not a mortal. Five of Palmer, and then six ups to ignore. Well, that's two going through, so it kills one and puts the other one okay. down. Okay. Well, this is going to be a challenge now because I've got the Moonstone War Spear. This is fours to hit, two attacks. Oh, both hit on oh. sixes. Shame it's not the jaws. Um, fours to wound, though. They're both wound. Okay. Five of Palmer. Made one. Oh, okay. Spoiled my day. <laughs> oh no, she's still nice. Oh what? Oh, she only had one wound. Yeah. Oh crikey! That one had a wound on her. Oh wow, full house. So well, okay, them. they did the job. And with the end of that combat, we go into battle shock. No rolls to be made. No. Um, obviously, didn't go anywhere near your primary objective. Yeah. Um, but I did gain an objective over there, which gives me four points for this turn. Takes me into well, notionally a one point lead. Yep. Um, you know, we'll see. I, I don't expect to hold that, by the way, because I expect the wrath of Jack to come flying back at me. Um, I'm half tempted. Yeah. I think I might even make this one my uh, primary objective, because it's a long way away from you. you yeah. Know. Okay. Let's uh, go into your turn two. So before we move into Jack's hero phase, um, I just want to say I chose this one as my primary objective, start of your turn. Yep. Uh, I, I basically got too scared of the Canary. Knowing you and your lucky rolls, you'll shoot a bunch off, then you'll get the charges, and then you'll do really well in combat, and then I'll be going, oh no, I just handed you three points. <laughs> so if you want to earn three points today, Jack, you're going to have to really earn three points today, okay? Yep. Okay, here we go. Um, yep, yeah. starting off, this hag gonna witch brew the unit of witches, this hag gonna witch brew Marathi. Oh, man. Then going for Sacrament of Blood onto the witch elves. I fail. Um, no, I need to, I need to grab that. The token. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was leaving it in there hoping, but you know. Hoping, yeah. Well, that's uh, why. That, that's why, wrong. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, then I've got Blessing of Cain onto the Witches. Oh, I fail. No. And then Catechism. I fail. Okay. Then I'm going to Mind Razor them. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, so you get to try and stop it on plus three. So you need to. Oh, no. Nope, you're good. Wow. Okay. Spam um, that one. Yeah, so oh, wait, I get to re-roll one. Oh, yeah, you can <laughs> oh, re-roll one from your artifact, no. yeah. <laughs> well, it's a one, so oh. hold on a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Mind Razor had to go off. Um, then the... It was destined. <laughs> yeah, the chariot's going to give herself Steed of Shadows. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. okay. Not with a double one. That's hero phase. I'm so terrified of this turn. Now it's on to my movements. Angry, angry movements? witches. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. First off, the big movement, the witches. Um, go spend a command point to make that a six. I don't think you put my command point on, did you? So, oh, no. So oh, back, back down to two. Well, I've spent it just uh, now. So back down to two back command points. Back to two. Point. So up to three, back to two. And then I'm going to lose two inches for moving over the terrain. Okay, so we, we've uh, decided on three inches because you're actually skipping across the corner. Yeah. That's only on that front one, though, to be yeah. honest. You'd be better simply running around it at a three-inch penalty. Probably. For right. a lot of stuff. I mean, what is their movement? Twelve. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that means that's back row there oh, is getting to there. I actually, of course, need to you say... you got to keep out of three. three you can inch. sneak through to there, though. No, you have to always stay three inches away. So I Yeah, but think... this one... Is going to get through there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So that one easily because I'm thinking this is your charge range, yeah. 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 So you're looking at, um, you know, a four inch charge basically. Yep. Um, and the rest of them will move yeah. up just to get. I mean, at the end of the day, while it's a massive unit, they are only on twenty five mil bases. Yeah. And they are flying, so um, you know, you will need a decent charge just to get a decent amount into the combat. But it's not the end of the world, is it? 
Love that. It looks amazing. Just witch elves screaming around the corner and a whole bunch of lizards, which weirdly enough are facing the wrong direction. So they don't even know you're coming. <laughs> you know. Those saurus, though, if you want them to line up, you have to kind of like rotate them around and stick, yes. you know, stick all the tails between the legs of the other ones walking forwards and stuff. <laughs> right. um, Marathi. Popping her 14 inches over yeah, to Yeah, not looking forward to that combat. That's a different story altogether over there. So she can get three inches away. Yeah, just like that. Um, taking her wounds and tokens with her. Then I've got the chariot. Getting three inches away over like that. This hag queen running six. Gives her a 12, which means she can just... Actually, you know what? Mm. With that... No, she'll just run and keep up over here. And the other hag doing the same. <laughs> also a 6, so... Just getting her over to there. Flying hags. The snakes are going to... Stay... Stay there, I guess. You've got a similar problem to me, but not as bad. I mean, my Ripodactyls, in theory, can hopscotch over you and go yeah. steal it, but, you know. Tell you what, they're going to slither up a little bit. Yeah, just to kind of... Just you really case. needed to put a hero on there, though. I'd have loved to have seen somebody gain the artifact. Well, I've got a hero near it now, oh, okay. so yeah. Yeah. next turn I can give it a go. Okay. How does that actually kick in then, that one? Um, that's all my movements. Yep. So, don't have any shootings. Sorry, it's into charges. There we go then, straight into charges. Uh, the most important, the witch elves. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Marathi. It's a double one. Oh but my goodness. I'm rolling a cane, so on turn two I can re roll um, charge rolls of ones. So really? Four and a six. So ten. ten. That feels comfortable. Better. Yeah, I want to stay three inches away from him. <laughs> so You've got no fun, Jack. That's no fun at all. Okay. And if I want to stay three inches there. You can't, I mean, you, yeah, you just yeah. Have to stay out of that pile in anyway. So I can pretty okay. much start getting them all round like that. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't look messy at all. Uh, Marathi's going. Six. Uh, yeah, that's enough to get her over, like... Oh, come off it. Staying three inches away <laughs> from that. It's so mean. And then the chariot. Yep. Yeah, getting in. I'm going to go, like... Just that's... using it for movement more than anything, yeah, I more guess. Than yeah, that. Marathi's just going to... I've. You're out of three inch from the steggy at the back, though, yeah? yeah? Okay. Um, that's charges, so then into combats. Okay. okay, so before you activate this mega combat here, I'm going to spend two command points here. Um, one to give me uh, Control Fury, that's coming out to Quattle's Claw, that gives me plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to use the command ability from the Saurus Old Blood as well, which is called uh, Wrath of the Seraphon, which gives me plus one to hit. So I am plus two to hit on this unit. Yeah, but you have to roll to get them back. Four up, I get them back. I get one of them back, so that only cost me one command Do point. you want to give them all out attack? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Let's go for that. As soon as I'm sat on so many four up. pan points. Bottom? And then on a four up. Yeah, on a back. four up it comes back. So on yep. a five it comes back. Yep. So that cost me nothing. One. There we go then. It's time for you to just go frenzy um, crazy on yeah, me. Yeah, so there's 22 of them in combat. Eight of them can't make it in. Um, which means they're four attacks each. That's 88 attacks. <clears throat> because I'm Draichi Ganeth or whatever the temple's called. Just not as good as Hagnar. Um, I get plus one to hit on the charge. So I am twos to hit with this unit. I am going to spend the command point for all out attack for reroll ones to hit. So I'm going to be twos to hit rerolling ones. This is such a monumental combat. That's insane. Yeah, welcome to Witch Elves. Um, so I'm going to do them 22 at a time. See, my worry is, is I've spent all of those command points and I'll have no models left at the end of this. But I am Mystic but Shield. You've only, well, you've spent one command point. Oh, actually, I've only spent That's one command point. point. Yeah, that you, is you do all these yeah, and then yeah, it true. just doesn't actually cost true. anything. So, okay, here we go. Um, we'll speed this up as much as possible for you guys. But this is twos to hit. Rerolling the ones. Okay. And then this is going to be fours to wound. 
re-rolling. <laughs> Wait, um, how many of the attacks have you just done? I've by just way? done twenty-two, so that's a four. So this is just a quarter. That's a quarter. Four, yeah. eight, twelve. That's thirteen so far. Right. Okay. Here we go again. Second volley, twos to hit. Um, there's only two ones in there, two's so re-rolling all hit. Okay, I thought you said three to hit on the first roll. Um, no, the they're run. they're twos to hit because they charge. They ah, get okay. to hit, and then four to wound. Re-rolling. Re-rolling. Re-rolling the wounds. So that's going to be another 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 again. 26, so... Here we go again. Third volley. Twos to hit. Quite a lot of ones in there, actually. So re-roll the ones. Everything hits. And then this is going to be fours to win. Then the re-roll. Uh, there's a few more. Um, there's that's, a five in there yet. Yeah, no, I knocked oh, that okay. one over. That's five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One. Steady on. And the last volley hitting on twos. Re-roll that one, one. All hit. <laughs> and then this is going to be wounding on fours again with a re-roll. Um, okay, that was actually quite a lot from that one. So that is another 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 from that. 60. So exactly 60, yeah. I can do that. Okay, I'm going to do these 20 at a time. Yep. Five up saves. Re-rolling. Re-rolling ones. Felt yeah. a bit queasy. Are you aware <laughs> of this? Five ups, re-rolling ones. Okay. Let's pull the ones out for a second and then pull the five ups out. That was a five, I promise, Jack. So that is two, four, six, eight, nine so far. Re-rolling the ones there. Uh, 10, 11 so far. Good on the re-roll. So 11 dead so far. Yep. Going for the second batch of 20. Five ups. Uh, looking for the ones. Let's pull the ones out. And then let's pull the fives out. Fives and sixes. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Re-rolling those ones. 13, 14, 15. <sighs> this is so bad. Okay, here we go. The last round of 25 ups, re rolling ones. Oh, there's not many ones there. Um, okay. Oh. Seems <laughs> Two, like quite... 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Re rolling the ones. <laughs> 13 from that. You killed 39 of them, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go then, the Ripodactyls. Um, we'll come back to the single solitary Saurus warrior soon. Um, crikey. Right, two of the Ripodactyls into... Um, the chariot. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit in shock. Into the chariot. Here we go. Oh, Bloke Toad has been popped. Um, I think I may have done that off camera, though, when we were yep. chatting about the setup. So apologies if we missed that. Um, so this is hitting on fours. This is the jaws. So fours Four to hit, attack. Re -rolling. Fours to hit, re-rolling. Sorry, my brain has switched off after that combat. Um, and then re-rolling. So three misses so far. They all continue to miss, and then fours to threes to wound. Sorry, um, and there was no sixes there. I don't think. Okay. Um, so that's three wounds. Right. So that's uh, three wounds so far. But I do have the three. I need to re-roll yep. from the miss hits. Um, so again, they three more going through. So wounding on threes. So two more wounds. So five wounds in total. Uh, sorry, I did that in a strange five way. Five of armor. And six up to ignore damage. Ignored one, so I take two wounds on the chariot. Okay, and then the um, uh, jaw attacks into Marathi. Yep. Um, this is again fours re rolling. One six in there you and one re roll. So, no, so four hits. Four hits. Three to wounds. Uh, sorry, three hits, sorry. 
And then three's to win. No, it's two wins. four hits because of the six. So oh, oh sorry, yeah, so well, far and then sorry, I was thinking one. it was a mortal wound mechanic. My bad. There you go. Um, <sighs> three wounds, um, four, four up armor, one going through, six up to ignore. Don't ignore, so I do take a wound. Okay. And then and we've then just got, got the spears. attacks of the spears. So fours, um, one, and then uh, th fours again. So one attack onto the chariot. Five up. And then six four up. onto Marathi, misses on a one, no re roll there. Okay. And um, then it's my activation, I guess. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna. I'll go with the chariot. Okay. These are Mystic Shielded, just as a reminder. Yes. Rightio then, the Blood Rack Shrine, D6 attacks with the tail, 3 attacks with the tail, that hits on 3s because it charged, wounding on 4s, 1 save and no rent, so 1 5 up rerollable. 1 5 up rerollable. Oh well, five, re rolling 1s. So yeah, you make it. The Whisper Claw on 4s to hit, uh, it will be 3s to hit rather. And threes to wound, one save at no rent. So one five up, re-rolling ones. Nope, goes through. Just one wound. The spear hits on threes, one hit, and wound doesn't wound. Okay. And then the five attacks from the goad staves now on Ooh, twos. This is where it all hurts. And threes, uh, only two saves at no rent. So okay. two five ups again. Two five ups. Yeah, one going through. Go. Two wounds. Yep. Wow. There we go then, the solitary, mighty Saurus warrior. Um, hits with his club in a desperate attempt to revenge. He can't believe he's the only one stood there. I mean, for starters, let's get that out of the way. Um, he's hitting on twos, re-rolling ones with his club. Yep. So take that. Yes. Two hits. And he's wounding on threes. Oh, come on, Clubmeister. Um, two six up. Minus saves. one rend. Um, six up ignores, rather. Um, failed them both. So. <laughs> he kills two. Um, he gets uh, one attack two with his attacks. jaw, two attacks with his jaw. But he is hitting on threes, re rolling ones yep. this time. Uh, both going through. Managing to scrape to the minimum. Wounding on threes. One wound going through, no rend. Six up. Should that make? So. Can you imagine the damage I would have done if, say, five of them had survived? Because that's just one guy killing yep. three. Oh, man. Okay. Marathi to remove the Ripodactyls. Yeah, that's her goal. She hits on twos because she charged. Um, one miss. And wounds on threes re-rolling. Four... Um, they go straight through your armor, it's minus two rents, so, but they're three damage each, which go down to two damage. So that's eight damage from that one, <clears> which <throat> gets them. Yep. <laughs> right, as we go into Battle Shock, I've not even tied it away in my pile of dead. You killed 39 Saurus Warriors in one round of combat. That's what Witch Hell's doing. And one Saurus warrior killed three in return. Arguably, if I'd have just only managed a few better saves. Yeah. But, you know, how many went through 60 wounds? And on a five up, on average, I should have saved 40. And the ones, arguably, would have given me another five or six back. I was expecting to have five or six standing there. Well, no, 40 should have died. Oh, no, 40 should have died, yeah. yeah. So but then the re-rolling ones, though. Re-rolling ones would yeah. have given me five or six more back. So, so you uh, probably so... did a bit below average, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not complaining. It was a hell of a combat, and it was funny as, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Other than I went into shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's what witch elves do. I mean, it's they're they're, they're fragile. <laughs> I'm still shaking my head. They are fragile. If you get the double, though, they're this gonna, is yeah. Over, you kind of got to hope you get the double, but I don't know what I'd do. I mean, <laughs> you know, plus if you get the double. Um, yeah, I, I suppose I could move the objective, but... At this point, they could go either way. They can go either way. Yeah. All you've got to do is somehow take out that, and one would assume... Have you got any magic left in there? Yeah, I mean... So you could some... arcane bolt that guy off, yeah. couldn't you? You know. Okay, well, look, I am going to spend a command point, because I want him there anyway, at the very least. If you do get the double, I want you to have to do something about him. So I'll spend the command point. Yeah, bravely stand... He is a lizard. And I'm not for it to get it back. 
Four up. Do I get that command point back? Please say yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. So I don't spend the command um, point. Also, did you take my command point off me for giving the daughters all out attack? Uh, How many command you're points? You're on two. So yeah, I so think, yeah, I did. No, no. Because yeah, I used one for the six inch run, um, which okay. we then didn't put on. And so I need to be taken one more off. Okay, so you're down to one command point. Um, due to bubble wrapping, you still don't score those three points, yeah. though. Um, but you do score three points from your own objective. Um, so, I, you know, I've, I've got a rather shaky one-point lead, but I've yeah, got a one-point lead, lead at the moment. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, see where we go from there. Here we go, rolling to survive. It's a three. Oh, oh God, here we go, no. four or more. Oh, oh my goodness, no. Yeah, well, I don't think I need to think about this for too long. I have to take that. Uh, you kind of did a deep intake of breath and go, well, is it? You're gonna try, <laughs> you were going to try and convince me maybe to hang on for a double, but no, you're all right, Jack. I think I'll take this yeah. one. Um, sure? I mean, the Witch Elves can't really do anything. They're locked in combat, so you could always try and play for the double. Or you could just <laughs> arcane, arcane bolt. Use an arcane arcane bolt. The I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's maybe, possibility. maybe. Um, okay then, let's get some, let's hopefully generate some command points. The skink on a five, yes. Yep. The yep. slan on a four, yes. So that's uh, two command points coming through those regions. Plus another one. Plus the one, that takes me to three command points. Yep. Um, that is definitely what I need. Yep. Asterism this time round is going to be the great drake. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to hit that unit. Carnosaur's as hard. got some work to do. I just gotta hit that unit as hard as possible. The Carnosaur with plus one attack across all of its profiles is actually quite good. Yep. Um yeah, let's go for Comet's Call. Uh, yeah, I'm only on, on a plus, plus two, two this time. Um <laughs> goes off on a twelve. <laughs> so that is uh, D six units. Five, five units. Um one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, why not? Yep. Why not? So, Hag Queen of... with the sword. Hag Queen with a sword. Two. Six ups. She's gone. Wow. Hag Queen. Two. Six ups. She's gone. Marathi. Two. Six ups. I don't say many. The, um, up to six wins now. The chariot. Two. Oh. <laughs> Six ups. So powerful this spell. Um, I take two wounds. It's and so then powerful. The, the witches. The witches. Three. Uh, wow. Six ups. That is so powerful. Three more die from the witch house. Crikey. Uh, next up, the slime then is going to attempt Stellar Tempest. Um, to roll a six here because it casts on an And eight. actually, in hindsight, I should have done it first because I get a dice per model oh, and yeah. you know, I right. removed a bunch. But, you know, here we go. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. It goes off. So you could go for the deny. I'll try. With oh, actually, chariot. is Marathi in? Oh, chariot. Oh, I got it on a ten. Wow. So I do stop it. Okay. Let's just. Should we check range? But I think it's the chariot. But yeah, twenty-four inch. No, it's thirty. Oh, thirty. Of course. There I am in forty k mode. Do it. There we go for Stellar Tempest. Then. So this is on an eight. I need a natural six. I roll an eight. So that goes off in a ten. I can try and stop it. I roll a ten, so I don't stop it. Um, so it's one dice for everybody in the unit, which is 24. 24 dice on a... Five. five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mortal wounds on that unit. Six is to ignore. Um, ignored one, so that's seven of seven them. Seven of them dead, okay. Mystic Shield onto the Carnosaur on plus two to cast. It doesn't go off. Oh, uh, but I can use my artifact to re-roll one. Yes. <laughs> Double wonder. Nice. Thank goodness for no perils in this game. And the Skink hits this unit of Witches with Blazing Starlight. Uh, on the six, I'm not sure that goes off, actually. Um, oh, it is a six, but well, you have a deny. It's actually a seven as well. Oh, sorry. But the deny, I don't. Oh, of course, because so, of the terrain. Yep. So they're minus one to hit. Minus one to hit. Okay. Cool. I think at that... It's all your hero. Yeah. Yeah? Well, I need to also declare a unit, um, but I don't think I've got anybody give within... The serpent Staff. Why don't you just give it to the Carnosaur? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. And I will also spend a command point... Um, for fly. 
For fly, yeah, this has got to come from the slant, so I don't yeah. get this one back now. Um, so yeah, spending command point, give that unit fly. Here we go into my move face then. The Carnosaur is just going to come around within three inch. The Ripidactyls are going to come out within three inch as well. I'm just going to need backup just in case, I think. Although they're an awkward shape. And the Stegodon flies yeah, within three inch. Fly. If I can remove that unit, um, which, you know, in theory I should be able to do it. They're minus one to hit now. Um, and the Carnosaur's pumped up to the nines, isn't he? Or will be shortly. It should be okay. Plus it puts me in a great deal of presence on the middle of the table. I'm still worried about what I would do to defend an objective come your turn. But we'll see what we can do. Firing the first Stegodon. Um, I'm going to put the bow into Marafi. She's got one more wound I need to nibble off this turn. Yep. Um, I don't know if to flip it around. But fives to hit on four attacks just seems a bit... It's not going to happen, is it? No. So let's go with a bow into Marafi. I definitely need to remove the wound because I need to yes. be making sure I'm into the next bracket. Here we go then. So this is uh, three attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Uh, all miss on the bow. Powerful stuff. Four javelins into the chariot, hitting on fives. Two hits, wounding on Fours with the javelins. One wound on the javelin, doing one damage. <laughs> Saved it, <laughs> yawning yep, away. Now. Well, that pretty much makes my mind up what I need to do with the next. And actually, um, it turns out Marafi's actually taken six wounds, which I thought yes. she'd only taken five wounds, and I was trying to chip off the last of that bracket. Um, so I don't need to wound her anymore this turn. No matter what, she's surviving for another two turns. Yeah. So I'm going to leave her alone, and I'm just going to put the bow from the um, the bow from this into the chariot, mm -hmm. and then the uh, meteoric javelins into the unit. Cool. So here we go. The bow into the char chariot, hitting on threes, two hits, wounding on threes. One hit, so one wound so far. It's gone straight over the top of the tray. Two wounds on that. Minus one Ren doing three damage. That's six damage. I ignore on six R's. I ignored one, so that's five. And then the four. four shots from the javelins hitting on fives. That's two hits so far. Wounding on fours. Two wounds. Um, um, no Rend, one damage against the Witch Elves. Six up save. Six up to ignore. Uh, two more go. Okay, while I'm here, the old blood, old blood oiks is 18 inch sunbolt gauntlet, which I was yep. convinced is 15 inch. I may have got another shot off last oh. turn. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. D6 attacks, two attacks, nice one. Hitting on threes. Oh, I double wand it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Here we go then into charges. First up, the Stegodon over here into, yep, seven. So he's just going to stomp across here and hit the chariot. Yep. Bang. On a three plus, you do D3 mortal wounds. Three plus. You get to five, D3 mortal wounds, two mortal wounds. Sixes. Nord one, it was up to taking six. Okay, wounds. the Stegodon over there on the second unit there. On a five, he goes in. Bang. And again, on a three and plus. And again, on a three plus, doing D3. Yes, doing D3. One mortal wound on that unit. Six to ignore. No, so one more goes. And then the Carnosaur charging. Cold Blood on Carnosaur gets a five inch charge, so he's good. Um, yeah, do I need the Ripidactyls? You know what? I think between a Steggy and a Carnosaur, surely I've got that. Yeah. I'm going to leave the Ripidactyls back there and let's go into combat. I am going to spend a command point with the uh, Old Blood on um, a. All out attack. Yep. Uh, on a four up, I get that back. And I do get that back. That's, free. That's so powerful. Um, I'm not bothering with his command ability because I don't need it because of Coatl's Claw. So about... all of my attacks are twos re rolling yeah, ones. Say, right what now. about all out defense on something like the Stegodon against yeah, the Chariot? I could do, couldn't I, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Let's do all out up. defense. Four up. Does it come back? Oh my, it's just free, free command. So yep. all-out defense on the Stegodon. Oh, I think that's it. I can't 
can't really do any more, can I? I mean, you could Doesn't... do all out of defense on them, but he's probably going to remove all the witches anyway, so it's not really much. Yeah, point. let's leave it at that. Yep. Okay, let's go straight into it. Okay, let's start with a massive jaws because in total I've got plus two attacks across that anyway. I am hitting on uh, fours standard, but I get yeah. plus one to hit. Um, because of pin down, I get plus one to hit because of the Coatl's claw. claw. So I'm hitting on twos, re-rolling ones because of all out attack. Um, all hit, wounding on threes. Yep. Um, two wounds. Couldn't do anything about that wound roll. Uh, that's, <laughs> but that's ten damage still. Minus one rend. Yeah. Six up to ignore. Um, eight going through from that. Okay. Then three attacks from the four limbs. I am um, hitting on twos, yep. re-rolling ones. All hit, wounding on threes. Two wounds going through, no ren, doing two damage. Uh, no ren. Six of armor. Oh, one goes through, two damage. Oh, and you get the other two. Okay. Your activation. Uh, I'll go with the chariot. Uh, the blood drag shrine fighting back. D6 attacks with the tail. One attack, hitting on a four. Um, it missed. Four attacks from the Whisper Claw, hitting on a four. Um, two hits. We're rolling ones though, because it's turn three. Three hits. Threes to wounds. Three saves at no end, so three three up saves. Three, three, three ups. ones. Uh, one going through, re rolling the one though. Yep, yeah, just one going through. So that's just one wound. The spear hits on threes and wounds on a three. One save at minus one, so that's one four. One up. four up. Yep, goes through. Uh, D3 damage. Just one. And oh, he deserved then... more then. I can't find a four. There you go. Um, I've taken six wounds on this thing, so I've got four attacks from the goad staves that hit on threes, wound on threes. It's going to be four saves at no rend. Uh, four saves at no rend. Is three ups. They're yeah, all saved. Okay. Wow. Yep. Here we go then. The Stegodon attacking straight back with the grinding jaws. Um, three to hit. Three attacks here, by the way. Two going through. Threes to wound. Two wounds. Minus one rend. Two damage. Uh, two six ups. Made one, so two damage, so six is to ignore. Uh, take two wins. Okay, let's do the horns at this stage. So two attacks with the horns. Um, hitting on threes. No, both miss. Wow. And then that leaves me with four attacks with the crushing stomps because of the six. How many wins have I taken? Four. Oh, okay, so, so yes. Um, four attacks with the crushing stomps on four wins. Threes. All hit. Winning on threes. Uh, three wounds, uh, minus one rend. So three six ups. All go through, so six damage. I ignore the sixes. Five go through, which is just enough to get me. Wow. Okay, so at that, we go into Battle Shock. I think that was about as brutal as your turn, to be honest. Um, yeah. You expected they'd probably yeah. go, though, didn't you? There was two exposed. You were hoping for the double. Um, I score three points on that turn. I get nowhere near your primary objective, which we knew. We're going into your turn. At the start of your turn, there's a debate over what's the safest objective. And right now, I think, because they are bubble-wrapped as opposed to here, so I think you could just either get those in on charge and drop a couple of canary in, whereas that's at least a full bubble. Mm -hmm. I'm going to select that one. Um, hoping that Marafi is stunted enough in terms of movement this turn. Yep. Okay. Cool. Let's get into it. Right, before we get into your turn, Jack, just to say, I've debated this for some time, but I'm going to make that the primary objective. I think it's the better defended one. My worry is, is you've still got the two units of Canari, so arguably you could kind of backfill onto that and take that one. Likewise, I think you could kind of get those. Whereas they are at least at the edge of the zone, so there's a little bit more defense, and you'd have to get off a whole bunch of charges to kind of do that. So I know I'm gambling, but at the end of the day, 
you're down to two units and two off the table, is that right? Yeah. So you're down to four units, so it's not as dire in your situation as it looks. No. Except I have got some big beasty survivable stuff, but I don't have base bases. Yeah. No, I just don't have the model count. So let's get into your turn and see what you can do. Okay, in my hero fades, only got one thing to do. Marathi trying to put Mind Razor on herself, which she fails. Oh. Um, I gain a command point, and then it's into movements. Going into movement then. Movements, yeah. Marathi's just going to move to be three inches away. Over like this. Right. Now, I've got those snakes. And at the minute, the only thing that threatens me is the Ripodactyls. Yeah, in so terms I, of range. Yeah, so I think I'm actually going to... If I can get a decent points advantage here... Yeah. Then I might be okay. So I think I'm actually going to go for it. So they've got an 8 inch move. It's going to be 2 inches down. So we're going to get to about there yeah. with the first one. Yeah. Okay. And then the rest of them are just going to I'll do that while behind. you carry yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, with that, that's all my movements. But at the end of my movement phase, I do have to bring down the Canary. So I'll do that now as well. Okay. So here we go, the Kinare have dropped down over there, um, and with that is pretty much all my movements. Okay. So I'm going to go into shooting. Okay, the first unit of Kinari, they're going to throw their javelins. Um, the Warhammer TV dice is the boss, so it hits on twos. So well, the boss missed, but I do get to reroll ones because it's turn three. Hit, so that's four hits which wound on threes. Three saves, and this is at um, minus two rend because they've dropped down this turn. So I've got plus one. So you're a three up save, minus two, so five ups. Two go through. Um, two die. And then on four plus, they get to move. They do get to move. Um, the second unit's going to shoot them with the javelins. Um, twos and threes, re-rolling ones. And then threes. Four saves at minus two, so oh, four wow. five ups. Okay, so four five ups. Um, oh wow, all four. Oh, okay. Crikey, that's six of them gone. Um, and then I'll four plus oh, they man. get to move. They do. Okay, folks, so that's the uh, Canare doing their move afterwards. We just realised as well that the map cam, for some reason, had stopped functioning during your movement. Yep. So I just want to cover what we covered in more. We've got the audio, so we'll put a comment up. Yeah. regarding uh, what did and didn't happen. But essentially, this unit moved down here. And Marathi just shuffled. Uh, Marathi shuffled across there, and two units of Canary dropped down back here, yep. having shot six of my unit Sorry. off, which I've had to remove from that side anyway. One to lengthen the charge, but also the, the statue had caused a split in the unit. So yeah. I had to come this way. Um, and then you've moved your both of them yeah, got their six got the inch move, so, so they move six, six inch, inch forward. Yeah. So sorry for the camera failing there during the movement phase. We'll put a little note up and say we recap later anyway. Yeah. Okay. Right into charge phase. I've got a feeling this is going to hurt on points for me this turn. I'm going to go for Marathi first. Yeah. Yeah. She only needed a three, so she's actually going to pile in like that. Try and make it hard for your Carnosaur to get through. It's going to have to do some climbing if it wants yeah. to go go to that object. Or flying. Yeah, <laughs> true. The snakes, um, they're going to yep. go for a charge. I think they need something like a nine or an eight. No, eight, eight will do it. Eight. That's not going to do it, so they're going to have to stay there. And then next up... Um, first unit of Canary. Uh, nine, so they're, they're definitely good. in. Um, so I will move them. Yeah, move them. Oh, well, you know what? I'll roll for the other unit and then just... I get to re-roll the one. And a ten. They so... were in at that yeah. anyway. Okay. So, okay, I'll let you do those movements and we'll recap. Okay, so that's both units of Canary in. Clearly, having seen the rolls now... My do you know what? Even if I'd have named this one, you'd have just dropped the canary over here. Yeah, and, gone and they for would have them. just done the same thing. And they'd have done exactly the same. So, you know, that's the problem when you've got off-the-table threats. Yeah. There's only so much you can do. And uh, I really didn't do too great on the save. So, all right, your activation into combat. 
Marathi the Shadow Queen. Yeah. What's she got planned? Um, she's just putting everything into the Stegodon. Guessing you're flaring your armour at me, yeah? I'll flare my flares at you. Yeah, okay. Um, down to six wounds, so four attacks with Heart Render. Hitting on twos because I charge, re-rolling ones. Man, she needs more attacks with that. I know, it's sad. It's still good, though. Three to wounds. Yeah, when it, when it works. When it works, it's great. Yeah. Um, three saves at minus two, so that's going to be three five-up saves. Three five-ups. Um, bad news for you, that's only one going through. Well, it's three damage, so it takes uh, off to so seven, seven wounds. wounds. <laughs> um, <laughs> then the crown of serpents, hitting I'll on twos, re-rolling ones. At some point. And wounding on threes. <laughs> Two saves, no rent. Two no rent saves. Da -da -da, one going through. Um, up to eight wounds, so you got two left. Tail hits on a two. Uh, Rerolling ones. Wounds on a three. One save, minus two, so one five up. One five up. <laughs> it's a one. Um, okay, so that's... That is isn't mystic shit, no, of course, yeah. no. This is D6 damage. Four, so it does get him. <sighs> Pop. Okay. Pop goes the Plan's on. going well so far, Jack. Right, I'm going to have to split the attacks from my Sora. So two on one unit, two on the other. Not ideal, but attacking with the uh, clubs. Um, yep. So I've got two attacks here, hitting on fours. You know what, though? Oh, no, I haven't got a commander nearby. I can't do Not anything. Not close enough. Right? Not close enough. Okay, then. So hitting on fours. Uh, one hit. Wounding on three. No wounds. Uh, the jaws. Attacking with the jaws, hitting on fives. <laughs> wow, four hits with the jaws. Yep. <laughs> and then um, threes to wound. Uh, fours to wound. Fours to wound with oh, the jaws. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, two wounds going through with the jaws. No uh, rend. But it's minus one because of the battalion. Oh, of course. Um, sorry. So yeah. This is a six up save. And a six up to ignore. And for, for completeness sake, we'll say this is the left hand unit, yeah? Yep, so two die from that unit. Okay, attacking the right hand unit. Um, two hits with the clubs. Threes to wound. Two wounds with the clubs. Minus one, so this is six up armors. One saved, and you take a mortal wound. And oh. one six up to ignore. <laughs> oh, and I ignored it as well. Well, the so. mortal wound is vital oh, then. One of your guys. And at that point, the dog spotted somebody <laughs> walking past the house. So one of my guys has died. That's not yep. the result I needed. Um, the jaws. The jaws. <laughs> hitting on fives and all miss. Oh, okay. Um, so one okay. of your dudes has died. Crazy. Does it matter? Just No, it doesn't matter. That one? Yeah. Uh, then I can just attack back again. Why not? So I've... Oh, man. Got five. I'm going to go with the full strength unit, so the unit of five. Um, hitting on fours, the boss hits on a three. Rerolling ones. That's two hits. Wounding on fours. <laughs> Nothing. And then the three man unit can just pile in like that. Uh, hitting on fours and threes for the boss and wounding on fours. One save at minus one, so that's going to be one four up save. One cover. four up save. Yeah, and I make it. Okay. That's everything then. Okay. Wow. Enough though. That's going into battle shock with that unit. I'm losing d6 minus one. So uh, two more go. Okay. Um, okay. Leave. Oh, wait. Oh, no. The banner makes my bravery worse by one. So. Yeah, so leave the banner anyway. Just for the. Yeah, and then I've got to take Battle Shock on the unit that lost two. Their bravery six now, so. Four, five, six. They're good. Wow. Okay. Well, um, a fruitful round for you, really. You score yeah. one, two, three points from there. Four, you didn't five, get this six. one, so six points in total. I think that pushes you to a two point lead. Going into turn four. Yep. Good play. Good play. Here we go then. Roll up for turn four. Why do you make me go first? It's a three. I got a six. Oh, man. That's bad news. Well, I don't think there's any surprise. I think when you get the double at this late stage of the game with a two-point lead, you just have to take it, don't yeah. you? Um, I have got no good choices mm. in terms of which one to make. Um, the primary objective. You will take any of them. Um, if I make it that one, all you've literally got to do is put Just a couple of Canari onto it, it yeah. and you've got it. If I make it this one, 
you've at least got to fight for it, but I suppose... You'll be sacrificing that unit going into my yeah. turn four because I will wreak my Rowenge. The problem is, my main issue is, is Marath is walking around and she's now alive until the end of the game. Uh, no, she could She could die. She's got six wounds left. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. Um, um, so... But she's doing well until the end of yeah. the game. Um, and, you know, she'll just delete a unit a turn. Um... Yeah. Probably, although she's injured, so maybe hard to. The other issue is, is just the sheer amount of bodies you've got over there. Um, yeah, no easy choice. Um, I'm assuming you're making me go first. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll take it. I'll just because I've got more bodies, I have to name it this one. Yep. At least then you've got a chance. Like I might have to activate somewhere else. So. You know, you could fail a three-inch charge. I could fail. It'd be hard, but you could try could, though. Yeah. <laughs> And there we go, that's the primary objective located to here. Yeah, um, so I'm going to have to try and get that. Okay, let's get into hero. Going into your hero phase. Marathi, of course, popping. Mind grazer, can she do it? I got it on a 9, you can try and stop that. Hey. And I do stop that. Yeah. I rolled a 9, natural 9, but plus 2, so yeah. Uh, that's all my hero phase stuff. So then it's just into movements. Okay. Uh, Marathi's going to move just to be three inches away. Oh, so sneaky. Over here. Yeah, I'm not going to have you balance the model on the steps. I get it. The snakes moving up their eight just to be three inches away. Yep. Yeah, plenty of move to pretty much bunch the unit up into that. Slither. Into that narrow bit. Yeah. Um, I've got this unit of five Canari, which I think are going to come and jump down just to get onto the objective. So retreating from combat. Sure. Jumping over to get as many of them as possible on the objective. They've got like a 14 inch move. And... Yeah. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah. I'm not sure balancing your model up there is a great idea, but you know, you know what? She can with go. boingy wings. We know the point is they're oh, floating no. over that terrain piece, yeah? Yep. Just put them for the sake of it, put them behind. And we know they're floating on top in a five formation, yeah? Yep. Okay. That's movements. So now it's into shooting. Sure. The Canari throwing their javelins. Again, the Warhammer TV dice being the boss. All hit. <laughs> oh, I dropped you one on the, the dice. Oh, over. no. Is That's one wound. one wound. One wound at a minus one. And on a one, it goes oh, yeah, through. He goes, so. He goes. And I guess on a four plus, they get to move. Hey. They're going to move over here. Cause Does that mean they could subsequently charge as well? Uh, yeah, they could. Yeah, because they uh, could if they destroy the unit. In combat. They yeah, can't. Of course, they yeah. can't use the six-inch move to retreat out of combat. But they should be. If they move, but... it doesn't stop them from shooting. It, no, no, sorry, yeah. it doesn't stop them from charging. No. Wow, like, Marafi's gaze of pain. Yeah, she's really, really angry, and there's that like that one Saurus warrior there licking his chops oh, of which he's, elf. He's blood. hiding, but he's so right there. she's gonna try and turn him into a mortal statue. The Ubersaurus warrior hits on the two. Does and on oh, a two plus man. it's turned to stone. Yeah, it turned to stone, <laughs> so it's gone. <laughs> he was so brave. <laughs> okay, come back, kid. Into charges. Marathi. Yeah, she said, you know what? I'm going to do both of them. Why really? Not? Why not? Yeah, she's she's, she's, she's going to take three yeah, wounds no matter what. She's going to take three wounds yeah. from one of them. So The Blood Sisters. That's an eight. Okay, so what do you want to. I'm going to do it. You want to wrap, yeah? Over like. For the scaff touches. Yeah, because that's only an inch range. Right. So. You get them all. And then. You get another one in there. It's so like that. Good. That's yep. everything. So now it's into combat. Activating the. Help me out here. What are they called? Uh, they're Blood Sisters. Blood Sisters first. So one of them's going to go into the Rithodactyls, <laughs> and the other nine will go into the Saurus Warriors. So the one into Seems the Rithodactyls. The spear um, hitting on oh, two. Oh, can I? Have they ones. dropped their bloat toad that unit? They haven't. So start the combat. I'm going to drop the bloat toad on. Yep. Them. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, three hits and then three to wound. Three rolling ones because it's turn four. Three saves at minus one, so three six ups. Three on the six rippers. ups. 
Ooh. Two going through. Uh, just two wounds, and then the mortal wound touch uh, doesn't hit. Okay, two wounds, did you say? Yeah. Okay. Um, the rest of them are nine others with the spears hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Oh, man. <laughs> that because they it. charged. Everything hit, of course. Oh, man. And then they are going to be wounding on threes. I think I could have got all out defense with these guys as well from the Do commander. It then. Yeah, yeah, is that okay? And then I'm sort of five to one. four point. plus, you get it back, though? Yeah, okay, let's just roll that. Uh, no, I didn't, okay, so I did lose the command point. You do have to spend it. And then threes to wound. Um, get to re roll ones. And then the twos are misses. Only two twos, so this is pretty good. Then the rest of them hit. So that is 5, 10. So are these guys re rolling 15, misses as opposed to re rolling? 20, is that... 23. What? Were you saying twos and misses? Um, yeah, uh, because they don't have the witch brew, they only have the re roll ones. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, thank you. So it's 23 wounds at minus one, so five up re rolling ones. It's a hell of a roll. But that's two dead. Let's just count the dead first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, plenty. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Oh, okay. Okay. It was a hell of a roll, though. <laughs> but that's not a good enough roll. Spending a command point from the uh, old blood on Carnosaur. On a four, he gets it back. Yep. Gives him plus one to hit. Um, he is going with the Sunstone Spear. He's still got plus one attacks on all his weapons as well. Yep, so he's four attacks with the Sunstone Spear. Hitting on th uh, hitting twos. on twos. Do I get the reroll ones as well? Do I go all out attack? You'll probably take two wounds. Uh, hitting on twos, come on. Yeah, that's sixes? three ones. Is there any sixes though? One six. Uh, so sixes are two more wounds and an additional hit. So. so, and then wounding on threes, it's probably done. No, it hasn't done the job, so I failed to wound with that. But I do have the four limbs, uh, four clawed four limbs. Uh, so two wounds so far she's taken. Yeah, yeah, so six up to ignore. Yeah. I ignore one of them, so she's taking oh, okay. two wounds. So here we go, the two attacks becoming three attacks, and I am hitting on threes with this, uh, so becoming twos. Yep. Okay, two hits, wounding on threes. One wound. Four of armor. Uh, Two damage. Six is to ignore. <laughs> she takes one. So, so no point, no um, point doing anything. Well, no, she attacks. can still take one more wound. Oh, sorry, I so thought she'd taken jaws, two from the first. Uh, oh, okay, jaws jaws jaws. okay, so massive jaws then. Four attacks with a massive jaws. Um, yes, I'm not rerolling. I think it's five one, attacks so, with it. Um, uh, no, she's he's three. Oh, of course it is yeah. five, so let's just do one more. There you go. And then wounding on threes. Uh, three wounds, minus one rend. So doing five, five damage. One goes through. Are you ready for five sixes? <sighs> you could do it if anybody can. No. No, okay. So, so there you go. There's the third wound. wound. Um, she'll just fight back. And I'll put everything into the console just because that's the main threat. The Take it on, it's not going to do anything. No, exactly. So, hits on twos, re-rolling ones. And wounds on threes, re-rolling ones. Reroll the one. That's three saves at minus two rends. So, three, I think it's six ups. He's yeah. a four up save. Yeah, so three six ups. Two go through. Six damage. Ouchers. Then the snakes... Hitting on twos and winning on threes, re-rolling ones. That's five saves at no rent. Five four up saves. Yep. Uh, all going through. My God. So that's just five wounds there. So that's up to eleven wounds. Wow. And then the He's got one tail, wound remaining. Um, re-rolling ones. Hits. <laughs> Doesn't wound. Okay, so he has one <laughs> wound remaining. Wowzers. She does just delete units, doesn't she? Yep. Even when she's wounded. 
Well, especially when you fluff a bunch of saves as well. Um, I'm assuming, by the way, just it's off camera, but you didn't intend to go within three inches of oh, that, did no, you? Not no. that I'd have to pile no. in towards her anyway, so. Okay, so two of the Rippers attacking back. Um, two attacks hitting on fours. You know what? I've got a command point. I'm going to spend all that attack. Okay. On a four, you get it back? Nope, I don't. So okay. there goes the command point. Shame, shame. So here we go, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. <laughs> Didn't need it, one hit. Fourth wound, wounds, no rend, one damage. Uh, five of armor, followed by six of to ignore. It's gonna be one wound so far. Okay, eight attacks coming from the jaws, hitting on fours, re-rolling. Six is a two. One, six going through at the moment. Let's just re-roll these three. Two sixes, so they become My extra, hit. extra hits, so essentially back to eight hits, mm -hmm. winning on threes. Oh, it's not a good wound roll. Um, it's not a great wound roll at all. Three wounds. Five of Palmer and a six up to ignore. Okay, so one snake dies to take it from the furthest away, yeah. That one. Moving into my turn, you name this objective as your primary objective. Yes. I'm 25 inches away, so even with a six inch run, just can't get it. So, um, yeah, you're still safe for now, I think. Mm. Not a lot I can do. Okay. Um, yeah, going into my hero phase. Sacred Asterism. I am going to go with a Sage's Staff or whatever it is. I'm going to go plus three to cast. Yep. Plus, I think um, it's got to be the magic that does some damage this turn, surely. Um, to that end, then, um, I'll also roll two dice for command points on a four up. That's one more command up and on a five up from the skink. That's two more command points, plus the one I received takes me to six command points. And at that, with plus three, I will go into Comet's Call. Yep. It's a far... You could, it does go off, but if you want, you've got your once per turn re-roll. Yeah. yeah, let's re-roll. And that's an 11. So I'll try and stop it on a double 12. Nope. Okay, so that's um, D6 units. D6 units. Five units. Oh, I've got five units. So that's I've every only got unit four on units. The table. Um, so do I do these ones first? Yep, okay. Uh, one. <laughs> and a six. I do stop it. Um, this one. Yep. Uh, two. On a six. I stop one. Okay. Marathi. Um, Marathi. One. Could have rolled better with this. I stop it. And the snakes. Two. Um, on a six. Um, okay, another one dies. So okay. I'll just take the gore guy. Right. Well, it. It was promising. You've got Arcane Bolt. Yep, let's do that. Into Marathi again. I think so, if I can chop. Did she save? She did, didn't she? Yeah, she did. So um, she's got three wounds left. And let's go for Arcane Bolt into her. Um, and that's yeah, a 14, so that's 15. D3 more wounds. D3 more wounds. Two more uh, wounds. Six is to ignore. One of them. So I take one wound. Oh man, I needed magic. I think I've just that. rolled about five, six. Yeah, that's insane. Um, he's got, I mean, he's got Stellar Tempest. He could put that onto the snakes um, to try and chip as many of them off as possible, or, you know. Yeah, it's not easy. Okay, let's go for Stellar Tempest onto the snakes. Yep. And that goes off on, um, wait, it was an 8 plus 3, so... So it goes off, so 8 dice. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 dice. 5. I'm looking for, oh my god. Um, okay, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mortal wounds on that unit. 6 us. Don't save any, so it kills 2.5 of them. Uh, where do you want them from? Uh, just that end. Yeah, okay, and, then. and a wound, yeah? Yep, yeah, and a wound on there. Okay. Uh now the skink. And then the skink is going to go um, with his... It's like blazing starlight. Yeah, blazing starlight. So this is a six. And yeah, he goes he off on a say. six. Have minus you got one. any denies? No, Marathi's only got one oh, when she's transformed. So uh, minus one to hit on them then. <sighs> well, okay. I was hoping Marathi would be gone by now, but she's still there. <laughs> of course. So many sixes. Um, right, let's go into sh movement. Yeah.
Before I move on from hero phase, I am going to spend a command point um, from the uh, slan to give fly to the stegodon. It's just going to make the charge up the hill easier. Yeah, it allows him to just float on top of train and stuff. Doesn't yeah. It? Okay. Cool. Here we go into movement. Um, I am going to run and retreat. Yeah, one inch, so I'll yes. spend the command point. And on a four, you get on it back. On a four up, I get it back. Yep. And I do get it back, so that gives me an 18 inch move. Which means, I mean, we've yeah. already. Can you measure this? I need one six dice six. there, and one dice like that. The question is, is whether with a two inch gap in between, yeah. I can capture both of those objectives with one model. Actually, there is plenty of base. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's one inch. Is it yeah. one inch in yeah, between? It's yeah, one sorry, inch. I'm going but 40k again. You still have enough to okay. do both of them. So there you go, just bringing the um, uh, zones back up. Sorry, my bad there. So that at least gives me two objectives there. Yep. Uh, uh, movement, I think the Saurus Guard going to come down the steps. Mm -hmm. There we go then, Saurus Guard moving down the steps. I lose, what did we say, one and a half inch to yeah. those steps, I think? And they're a five inch move, aren't they? So three and a half gets me, well, basically three inches away from that Canary unit. They will, um... Yep. So a slight rejiggle with a Saurus Guard, I've decided that might be actually better. The that Slan decides it's time to do something. Yep. Just, you know, you got to get involved sometimes. It's got some crackling lightning. Well, at the end of the day, you have got to be in it to win it. That's an old just... slam saying. Uh, let's go for shooting. Okay, shooting, spending a command point from the uh, old blood on a four. Get it back. So I am. Um, You've rolled a lot of four plus for your command firing points. firing into them. So I'm re rolling ones to hit. I need a d6 shot. So I get five shots into Marathi. Hitting on. Hitting my voice, right <laughs> then. Hitting on threes, re rolling ones with volley fire. Good old volley fire coming in there for no effect whatsoever. Sure. That is two hits, minus one. Oh no, I've got a wound yet. I'm forced to wound. One wound at minus one ren doing one damage. Goes through on a six to ignore. The skink laughing at the console's inability. Uh, spend the command point on him on a four, it comes back. He's also got volley fire. He has two shots with his venom bolt. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. That's one going through, wounding on three. One wound, minus one rend, one damage. Six, seven, two, eight, I'm down to one wound. <laughs> <laughs> this has really worked against me now because I needed the bow elsewhere, but that's life. Um, the bow going into Marathi. Two hits, one wound. Um, one five of Palmer goes through. That is three damage. No, she goes. Okay, she goes. Pop. Here we go into charges. The Stegadon needing. I think we measured a nine for this, yep. and I get an eight. Um, uh, no, it was an eight. Oh, was it? Yeah, because it's eight and a half. Uh, okay. So an eight does get him in. All right. He's like. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm just going to take these. Yeah, do that. Because he, he floaty floating, yeah? Yep. Um, the... Carnosaur. Carnosaur. Seems risky. At an eight, he's good. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, the Saurus guards. Oh, sorry, Stegadon on a... Oh, yeah, you're right, on a three plus. Three plus. Yes. D3. D3, one mortal wound. Six up. Of I course. It. And the Saurus Guard. On a double one, command reroll. Um, oh, they reroll re anyway. Reroll charges. And on a six, I'm pretty confident that's a fail. Yes, they needed. Ugh, they needed seven. Well, they didn't make it over to there, but because I rolled it, let's just get them yep. into there. Why not? It's not ideal because I actually wanted to use the charge to get me further this direction because it just frees you up, but that's life. And then the slan on a double one fails. You know uh, what? Command reroll. Yeah, from the carnival. Four sword. up. Yep. So you get back. So just... slan goes in. 
What about the skink? Really? Go for an almighty charge into the snakes. Oh, come on, skink. Six. No. Nah, he's not bothered. The carnosaur then. Um, right, before he dies, because he's definitely yep. going to die, I activate him, but on top of that as well, Wrath of the Seraphon, plus one to hit. He doesn't need it himself, because he's already plus two to hit this turn. Yep. But I am going to grant this to the Saurus Guard, so on a four up I get the point back. I don't. I've actually wow. spent a command point. That's new. That's it. Game over. Uh, shake hands. <laughs> This is it. Um, he's also going to grant himself uh, all out attack. attack on a four. He gets it back. He gets it back. <laughs> um, so you want to give it to the Saurus guard as well? Well, you know what? I can, can't I? Yeah. So all out attack for the Saurus guard, and I get it back. There you go. Um, all out attack for the. Uh, Slam. While I've got the four up ignore, I might as well keep going, then. Yeah. All um, out attack for the slam. You might be able to... All out attack for the slam, though. And on a three uh, up, I lose it. You're out of range for the Stegodon. Okay, so the slam has got all out attack. The Saurus Guard have got all out attack. And he he, he's got all out attack. <sighs> Combat? Yep. Two attacks with the clawed forelimbs then. We uh this is hitting on let me just check here. He's taken ten plus wounds, hasn't he? So it's five up plus two, so he's hitting on threes. Uh both hit. Wounding on threes. Both wound. No um, rend, two damage. Five up armor, six ups to ignore. Two wounds go through. And then we have three attacks with the jaws becoming fives because um, the four, four sorry four attacks um, and twos yeah hitting on twos re rolling ones all good and then wounding on threes uh, three wounds at minus one rend that become minus they all two, go no, through um, and damage? it's just one damage ah sixes. <laughs> Made two. So that leaves one elf alive. Yeah, I didn't want that. I didn't want that because that dude definitely needed to be dead. But yep. there you go, your activation. Um, the canary going then. I've got three into the Saurus Guard, one into the Slan. Yep. So into the Saurus Guard, everybody missed. Into the Whoa. Slan. Hits. Wounds, one save at minus one. Well, on the three, that goes through. Yep. Um, on the two plus, you could pass it off, but don't know whether yeah, no point this turn. I can heal a wound yeah. a turn. So, okay, takes one wound. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Stegodon, massive horns, two attacks, threes to hit, two hits, threes to wound, two wounds, minus one rend, uh, five of armor, one goes through, four damage, then sixes, and oh, there you go. Okay. The snake attacking. The one attack with the scath touch. I am minus one to hit. So on a five up, you'll take mortal war, uh, mortal wound. Oh, and you do. So again, now again, he's only got oh, he's gone. Left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just turn to stone. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention <laughs> there. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why he definitely needed to kill one more dude. Yeah. And the Slan Star Master, embarrassed by the warrior prowess of his faction. Um, hitting on fours, re rolling ones though. Yep. <laughs> Not embarrassed enough to do a good job though. Three ones in there. Okay, made up for it on that then. So that's four hits at threes to wound. That's three wounds at minus one rend. Uh, three six ups. One goes through, um, six up to ignore. <laughs> uh, sorry, two went through. Oh, two went through. I was just thinking. Two dies. Two dies. You do take a mortal wound as well, because I got a six on my save. Nice. So it takes him to two wounds. Yep. And do then, I pass oh, that on on the two up? Uh, nah, he wounds. can heal. He can heal. Okay. He's good. Um, and then um, I might as well just activate the um, Saurus Guard. 11 attacks from the Saurus Guard, hitting on threes, re rolling ones. Did I give these guys plus one to hit as well? Yes. Uh, so hitting on twos then? Yep. Uh, well, yeah, they'll be plus two to hit because they made a charge oh, okay. move. Okay, rerolling ones. Okay, oh, well, yeah, the one became a one. Um, and then... Uh, wounding on threes. Uh, 
two, four, six, eight wounds at minus one rend, one damage. Yeah, they all. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're gone. I they're think. gone. Six of to ignore that. Yeah, no, they're gone. Okay, going into Battle Shock. Um, um, just to say, I've scored um, four points in that turn. Yep. Taking me to 14 overall with a six point deficit. Yep. You have one model on the table. Still here. <laughs> She's still about. She's still here. Okay, then we need to go into roll off for turn five. There we go, roll off for turn five. I got a five. I got a three. You get a turn. There we go then. So I'm going to name that as the primary yep. objective. Yeah. What would you do? Come back here? Yep. Yeah? That's pretty much it. I mean, we can kind of... You do... can't take that one. No, I can't take that one because I can't kill all the rippers. Get across there because you couldn't kill the rippers and take it. So you're just going to come back and make that yeah. move as long as possible. But it doesn't matter. Because in my turn, I get two points. Okay. So let's have And we're just going to math hammer out the rest of the game, basically, because I am uh, eight points behind. And as long as I can make yeah. eight points, it's it, not a problem. So in your movement phase, command point, you command point, run him to get there. Over there. You command, command point, point run, run them to there. Gain that objective. And then you command point, run these to here, which I would name that as my primary, of course, because it's the like... The furthest away, and I was already holding away, those yeah. two. So, so command point those across there. Um, so the reason we're saying command point is to guarantee the six-inch yeah, run. Yeah, I mean, you can And I'm them. sat on currently uh, four command points yeah. without even rolling for more command points. So, so that's... The, and then in the end of your turn, you gain all points, which, which, um, which one, two, three, is eight four, points. five, eight. Yeah. Right, okay, which draws us. Which, as ridiculous as it sounds... Million and one possibility comes down to the auxiliary objectives. Now I'm not both, happy about this. We <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you've never had yeah, a draw. I've right? like, never, never had, had a draw. Now, this is my first draw. Okay, so let's just recap them. We are at 22 points to 22 points at the end of turn five. Yes. I mean, I could have, by the way, magicked off and probably yeah, removed yeah, that yeah, unit, but it makes no odds because I could get bodies onto the object. You don't win by tabling in six. Yeah, exactly. So it comes down to auxiliary objective. We both, both chose. chose overwhelm and cornered. Right. So let's go for me first. Yeah. Let's just remind ourselves what we've got. Um, okay, cornered. You complete this auxiliary objective if you have two or more friendly units within three inch of the same enemy hero at the end of a turn. Mm -hmm. So Marathi versus the Stegodon and the Carnosaur. and the Carnosaur gains me cornered. Yep. One point yep. takes me to twenty three points, Jack. Well, yeah, well, okay, yeah, it doesn't yeah. work that way, but I score one objective. The next one is Overwhelmed. You complete this auxiliary objective if an enemy hero is slain or attacked by a melee weapon in a friendly battle line unit. You I killed Marathi with my hero. Marathi with the Carnosaur. Yep. The two hags with magic. Yep. And the chariot with um, a Stegodon. Dog. So you didn't actually kill any of my heroes with battle line units. So I don't so gain. You don't gain overwhelmed. Now in my scenario, cornered. I never got cornered. Um, the only thing that there was was the Carnosaur, but he was against the thirty witch elves, which all died, and then he was against a Mar Marathi, so he was never in combat with two units. <laughs> then he was overwhelmed. And the only um, carnis the only hero that died was the Carnosaur by the single snake, which is technically a battle line unit. So I do get overwhelmed, which then means we both gain one of our auxiliary objectives, so the draw remains a draw. Having said at the start of this game, that never happens. <laughs> From now um, on, yeah. we're going to pay more attention. Yeah. To secondary objectives, auxiliary objectives, so I say that. So it is a genuine draw. Draw. Up. If it was the old rules, you would have got the minor victory because you killed more points of mine. Yeah. I mean, hell, I only had one snake left. So. Yeah. Well, and I probably would have magic top. Yeah, table exactly. Anyway. So you would have got all uh, nineteen hundred and eighty points of my army. 
Yeah, great game. Yeah, it was close. <laughs> it was brutal. I actually mm. really enjoyed it. The massive smash in the middle. Th it was like yeah. 30 daughters hitting 40 yeah. Soros guards. 30 witch elves, which... And you absolutely needed to decimate that because we saw the one remaining do kill three of your witch elves. Mm. So if I'd have rolled on average and maybe had five, six, seven of those dudes, that witch elf yeah. unit would have just been decimated one way or another. I mean, yeah, I've realised like I'm never going to play daughters without Hagnar because five up the, the, the five up arguably re-rollable ignore yeah. is I mean, just, we all know, just too much to You really up. struggle to make a six up yeah, ignore, don't you? Yeah, in that last turn, I did make about like seven six up. so... I'm going to stop filming because the dog's going to go. And at that, I think it's just for us to say thank you very much for joining us. Yep. Um, really appreciate it. Glad you made it all the way to the end. A draw. What can we do? What can we a do? Draw. <laughs> If you won the roll off, you would have got it. But it was the fact that I got the turn five, which meant I could still get the points. So great. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the new table. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing a Seraphon versus Daughters of Cain. Next up is Skaven versus something. Not something. to be decided yet, but we figured we'd just dust off the Skaven again. It's been a while since those guys made the table. Yep. Um, although we, you know, I'd love to see Ogre More tribes again, but I know your, your head's elsewhere at the moment. There's a bunch of elves behind me with incredibly just, long spears. Just finished the first unit. <laughs> <laughs> it almost drove me mad. Like I mean, not that you can see this on the camera, but my God, just the, the length the of spears. those spears is just hilarious. Great stuff. <sighs> anyway, thank you very much for joining us.